today, hopefully, the weather doesn't switch out of nowhere. We're looking, there is a dark cloud. Seems like every time I get a chance to shoot the Breda with an actual turkey choke, rain comes out of nowhere. But we have the Breda A400 Explorer Action 28 gauge. Oh, it just got dark. It's getting dark. So stay tuned. I've had the worst luck trying to pattern this gun. Uh, been just like this, we take this gun out, torrential downpours every time. So today looks to be the day that we actually get to put it on paper. What we're gonna do is we got a box right here. These guys are pretty much ready to roll, by the way. This is the Viper ammunition. You've seen them a bunch now on the channel. We hunted with them in West Virginia. This is a 28 gauge, two and a half, which is kind of different. It's an ounce and a quarter of nine shot going 1135. So this is a kind of a different load being a two and a half inch shell. You don't see too much of that in the 28 gauge. So I'm really eager to see how this shoots. And what the chokes we're gonna use today is the ones I've been trying for like a month now. Let me just set this down. With the whole Optics Planet sending me the wrong chokes, uh, I messaged Jebs, they got me the right ones. I sent them back the other ones. They got me the right threads. We'll double check that. So we have the Jebs right here, the extra full, 28 gauge, and then the full. I really think that this full is gonna be lights out. We'll shoot the extra full first and see how it handles this load. And then we will shoot the full, both at 40 yards like we always do for our stock standard test. Oh man, you know it's hot when that like warped down on it. Finally get to shoot this. I'm very excited. So I'm gonna thread this hopefully and uh, load it. We'll give her hell. So it threads. I just wanted to say that. This is the extra full. Let's get to it. So you can see here, this little shorty. It, this is tiny. <laughs> this is pretty cool. So this is, like I said, two and a half ounce and a quarter of nines going 1135. Man, they're tiny. So I'll put this other one here. We'll shoot the left target with the Jebs extra full out of the Beretta A400 28 gauge Explorer action. And we'll see what happens. Let's get right to it. Been waiting for this for like a month and a half. Left target, okay. left target yes sir. So we shot the extra full. Now I'll put the safety on, weapons clear. Swap chokes out, put the full in, and shoot the right target. Okay, so we have the Jebs full in now. Same load. Let's throw this in, shoot the right target, and see what happens. That one sounded like it had a lot more oomph. It shot high, too. They both shot high. That one shot higher. Well, the, the box we got from them had three high brass and three low brass. Now the one shell, we couldn't get it to fire. It just would not shoot. It was not slamming shut. I was trying to shoot two high brass for this test, but we had to do high brass, low brass. So keep in mind the extra full was shot with high brass. The full was shot with their low brass. I don't know if they plan on selling them high brass offering, low brass offering, I don't know. But Let's go down there and see how they look. All right, guys, so that was the Breda A400 Explorer Action 28 gauge. Finally, finally get to put turkey chokes in and put patterns on paper. We have the extra full jebs and the full jebs. We have the Viper ammunition, two and a half inch, ounce and a quarter of nines. Both these loads are 1135 feet per second. So let's look at the extra full first. Once again, this was a high brass shell from them. The full was a low brass shell. Just keep that in mind. I don't think it's going to make too much of a difference. But the extra full at 40 yards, uh, my aim point was here. You will see a difference in point of impact when you change chokes, loads, all that. So zero with what you hunt with. We say it all the time. But this just keeps proving it, as you'll see when we jump over here. Both of these were the same aim point. But you got a decent core because it did shoot high your core is nice 
You do have some flyers over here. It's more of an open pattern. Um, you do have a flyer up here as well. But for a 28 gauge at 40 yards, your core, what you're working with is right here. And I will say this, it may not be screaming tight to what a lot of people like, but this is pretty uniform. There's really no voids, maybe, maybe right here. But on the outside of the pattern, you're gonna have more voids, of course. But other than that, it's pretty uniform pattern. It does have a weird full pattern to it. I'm not exactly a giant fan of it. But I would say the extra full doesn't really, with this load, we will be putting a ton of loads in it, but the extra full with this load doesn't fit what I look for. Having said that, the bird's totally smoked. I mean, you got ton in the brain, ton in the spine, and it was a higher shot had that been centered. There is no way this turkey could walk through this pattern. End of the day, that's what matters. But we're looking at performance here. I wouldn't say it's ideal. I wouldn't say it's bad. It's not what I look for. But I'm curious to put more loads through that gun with that choke and see what that extra full really likes. So let's jump over and check out the full. It's a night and day difference between the full and the extra full in this case, with this load and that gun. Dead turkey. So as you can see with the full, the Jeb's full with the same load, just in a low brass shell, this shot higher, but this is a phenomenal pattern for a 28 gauge. I mean, yes, you do have several flyers here, but guys, your pattern is literally right here. If this was centered, if I was zeroed to this setup, there'd be no doubts in my mind at 40 yards, even to 45, I'd be smoking turkeys. It's once again, not screaming tight, but guys, that's not what I look for in a pattern at all. I am a turkey hunter. I don't care about tight, tight patterns. I wanna kill turkeys. This pattern right here, centered, you can see, I mean, how is a turkey gonna get through this? There's no, there's, well, I guess one void, two voids in the pattern, but neither is big enough to where a turkey's gonna slip through. This centered, that bird is not going anywhere. And I actually think you could get 45, maybe 50 yards out of it, which we will pattern that and see, but that's a really good pattern. I, I came into this test thinking the full would fit my eye better. We all have a difference in preference, what we like in our setup. I like uniform, decent core, and a good full pattern. This is what meets that eye. Do I wish it was more round? Sure. But I'm looking at it this way. When you're running a camera, you're filming your turkey hunts, oftentimes you're taking a shot with one hand on the gun, one hand on the camera, trying to make sure you're getting the, the shot and you guys know how turkey hunt this. You can't make that final move and you add a camera to it, it's just a hundred times harder. This gives you the leeway to be able to shoot one-handed and be very confident in your shot. You should never pull the trigger if you're not 100% positive, it's gonna be an ethical clean kill. That right there is no doubt going to smoke turkeys every time. All I would need to do is zero to this and I would be in business every time. That's what I look for. That's lights out. It's crazy the difference between the full and the extra full with the same load, same gun. Constriction matters. So once again, Breda A400 Explorer Action 28 gauge. On my right here, you have the extra full with the Viper ammunition, two and a half inch, ounce and a quarter of nines. You can see how that patterned. It was not a terrible pattern by no means, but it's not what I'm looking for. Then on my left, you have the full Jebs with the same load, same yardage, and you can see the night and day difference between them. This is exactly what I look for in a pattern. This is okay, but to me, it's not, a, it's not even hard to choose this over that. The gun just liked the full better than the extra full with this load. It will vary between loads, guns, chokes, all that stuff. You have to jive all three, the gun, the load, and the choke. You want perfect performance out of your firearm? All three gotta love one another. 
That's what happened there in the full. Little things make a big difference in pattern performance. I'd take that full. So finally, we got to put turkey patterns, or turkey choke, I should say, in that Beretta. Shoot and see what it liked. I can tell you right now, so far, it really liked the full. With this load, it could be completely different if we swap out loads. We got a ton of patterns to do with that gun. We got a ton of patterns to do with all the guns we have. We're trying to sprinkle in broadhead tests whenever we can, waterfowl whenever we can, and we're still chipping away at turkey patterns. So we have them done when, you know, you guys are wanting to see them in February. They're already on the channel. So if you're new to the channel, we have a broadhead test series, a waterfowl pattern series, which is duck and goose split. We also have the turkey pattern series, and we have a ton of tests. We test everything we do in a no BS, honest performance talks, the rest walks manner. We don't care about price. We don't care about brand. All we care about is performance on paper or performance in the ballistics shell. That's all we want. Because when we go afield, we want to have 150 million percent certainty that our setup is absolutely perfect for ethical kills. So in my eyes, performance will always talk. That's all I care about. I want to be efficient afield. We deserve to give our utmost respect to the game we pursue. So with that said, make sure to smash the thumbs up button for your boys. Share these videos in all your hunt groups with all your hunt buddies. Drop your comments below. Let us know what you thought between the full and the extra full. And let us know what your setups are. If you hunt with 28 gauge, 410, 16, 12, 20, a slingshot bow, whatever blow dart gun if you're tim wells let us know what you hunt with what you want to see on the channel check out all the playlists we have a ton of tests for you guys a ton of tests it's almost we're almost to a thousand videos on this channel already we pump out content so make sure you subscribe turn your notifications on monday wednesday friday you will see a video from us so as always we got more to pattern we got a ton more to do pigeons are flying pigeons are flying but as always we will catch you on the next one. Take her easy.